It's Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, that zany character on the Archie Luxury YouTube channel. The YouTube channel with over 40 million views. Guys, today I'd like to talk about I'd like to talk about freedom of speech, press freedom in Australia. And also, I want to talk about why the Labour Party, the Australian Labour Party, the ALP, cannot jump on the bandwagon for this free freedom of press, the free speech. Why the Labour Party can't jump on this bandwagon. And I gotta tell you, this is a very, very grubby situation. We've got a very, very... Nasty situation which has unfolded in Australia. And we, we've really never seen anything like it. What's basically happened in the space of uh, two days, we have had the Australian Federal Police. Um, the Australian Federal Police is kind of, uh, how would you put it? Each, the, way, the way it works in Australia is... Um, um, we we have state police. Normally, if you get caught speeding, or you uh, you you say you have a domestic disturbance, or you say commit a, a crime, it's the state police who would uh, deal with it. Uh, <clears throat> then you've got the Australian Federal Police, which is the federal law enforcement agency of the Australian government. Now, they're, they're kind of a unique, they're in a unique role of investigating crime and to protect the national security of Australia. It's an independent agency and it reports to the Department of Home Affairs and is also responsible to the Minister for Home Affairs and accountable to, to Federal Parliament. Uh, now, this is an interesting situation because what has happened in Australia uh, in very, very recent terms is that we have had, um, we've had a situation where, we've got a situation where two matters have happened with the media, freedom of speech. We've had a highly respected um, highly respected uh, journalist from News Corporation, uh, that's the Rupert Murdoch-owned uh, conglomerate. Um, she had a, uh, a police raid by the AFP, Australian Federal Police. We have also had a situation where the ABC, that's like Australia's answer to the BBC, has been raided by the AFP, and uh, it's it's. I got to be completely frank with you. The way this matter has uh, happened, we we have the Liberals, who are the that's the the federal government. We in Australia, we've got a constitutional democracy. Uh, basically, it's a two party preferred system where we've got the the left wing represented by the Labor Party, the ALP. And on the right wing, we've got the Liberal National Party, the LNP, which is quite strange because Liberal 
in uh, an American context is their left wing, whereas in Australia it's our right wing. But let's let's not let's not go down that rabbit hole. So basically, we have a conservative LNP Liberal government, and they've kind of uh, brushed their hands off the whole thing. They've said, "Oh, it's nothing to do with us. It's complete separation of powers. Complete." The uh, AFP is an independent crime-fighting body who investigates matters under its jurisdiction. We can't get involved. Um, and that's that's kind of what has uh, been said there. These matters get very, very political because you're in a... a um, obviously, they are responsible to Parliament... And the government of the day is the governing body, which is their boss and directs their their flow of attention. Now, in uh, in in political sense, there one would say freedom of press. Uh, the AFP stomping on um, this this area here. It's a very very delicate area. Uh, I I'm, I must say, if we had the previous LNP leader, Malcolm Turnbull, uh, who was very much a pro ABC, very much, in my opinion, was a he's a bit of a left wing liberal, uh, which is is in the conservative stance of being a liberal, which is our right wing. He would have picked the phone up, spoke to the head of the AFP, and said, "What the fuck is going on with?" Uh, the uh, the searching of journalists. This is not a good look. I mean, this is the sort of shit that, uh, how would you put it there? Uh, this is the sort of shit that Egypt, China, and uh, other countries are kind of uh, in line with doing. It's not something Australia, we, we, we like to say that we have a fair amount of freedom Freedom uh, of the press. And uh, i, I got to be honest with you. If you have a look at some of the things that are coming out there, highly respected um, journalist, ABC's Kerry O'Brien. Uh, he's a long-time presenter of ABC 730 program. Uh he, Kerry O'Brien, says this week's Australian Federal Police raids on the ABC and a News Corp journalist go to the heart of Australia's democracy. Yes, I absolutely uh, agree. And that's why I am so outraged with this situation. Uh, the only thing is that if we take a holier than thou, so we've got the Liberals who are handling this matter. ScoMo, Scott Morrison, is handling this matter rather poorly. Uh, then you look at the other side and say, OK, the Labour Party at the moment, it is fractured. We've just had an election. Uh, the Labour candidate, um, Mr Shorten, uh, he has he has resigned from the job, and we've got a a new new leader, Elbo Anthony Albanese. He's in charge. Well, it's a bit fractured, but um, and unfortunately, Labor has you know they could have scooped this and said, "Hey, freedom of speech, freedom of speech." But I got to tell you, there's also an ugly, ugly, ugly matter there, and that's the fact the. Pluto matter, the Pluto matter. That's right, the Pluto matter. And what is the Pluto matter? That is a very good question. The Pluto matter. That is when. That is when. Uh, this is when whistleblower Paul Pluto, aka Archie Luxury, aka Archie Luxury. Uh, he was uh, forced to go to a star chamber. This was under a Labour government. The Palachuk, or some would say Palachet, but it's Polish, it's not French. The Palachuk government, they, um, they got Mr. Pluta sent to the star 
chamber. <coughs> the star chamber. So uh, Labour can't really go on a high horse because they use their own secret police. It's not, it's not the AFP, the, in a state sense, they call it something else, the CCC. That's correct. That's the Corruption Watchdog, the CCC, the Crime and Corruption Commission. And they're allowed to run coercive, meaning you have no choice to go to interviews. Coercive hearings, um, they're allowed to ask. And uh, unfortunately, in this whole Bill Shorten, uh, this Labour Party upheaval, uh, Labour's been very, very slow to jump on the free speech bandwagon. But even if they did, they got to be careful because of the Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. And uh, basically, the CCC... Uh, it's sort of like the, the brown shirts of uh, modern-day Queensland. Well, the government was upset that Pluta had made the government look bad. He had made them look silly. So what do they do? They get Pluta into the CCC, a star chamber. And this is the big problem. See, they can't... The Labour Party can't get on the free speech bandwagon because they fucked it up in the Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. And uh, this is uh, exactly what the problem is. This is why the Labour Party can't get on this, this very precious uh, golden horse here. Uh, it's an uh, absolute travesty. If only... The Pluto would shut the fuck up if only the Pluto would shut the fuck up. And uh, Mr. O'Gorman, head of the, uh, he's a civil libertarian, highly regarded, highly regarded um, uh, civil libertarian, who uh, came out and uh, he, he, Terry O'Gorman wants the CCs. Powers to be curbed. Yes, yes, indeed. The Pluto matter was a where a self-described Brisbane YouTube celebrity, well, self-described, I got 50 million, well, 40 million views, was called to the star chamber because investigators wanted to find out who was behind the leak of a top secret report about Queensland Rail network problems. That's right. Acting as a middleman, Pluto received the report from his source, passed it on to journalists and posted several videos on his own YouTube channel, causing major embarrassment for QR and the state government. What? 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 That's right. The Pluto matter, the horrible, grubby Pluto matter. Pluto was later charged. Well, they need a corpse. They need a body. They need they need a, a head count. Pluto was later charged with breaching the CCC Act for allegedly informing a third party that he was due to face the Star Chamber. So he didn't actually... <laughs> this Pluto guy, he didn't actually do anything wrong. He was allegedly told someone he was going to a fucking star chamber. I mean, fuck me dead. What sort of society do we live in that has star chambers, coercive interviews? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Um, as Mr. Mr. O'Gorman said, the Pluto case was an example of coercive hearings used for trivial matters. And Queensland whistleblowers had to think long and hard about coming forward. Yes, yes. And this was under a Palachuk, Palachay government. The Labour Party, you fucked it up. You fucked it up because you fucked up the Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. If only it hadn't been the Pluto matter. That's right, the Pluto matter really wasn't a really good place 
to be the Pluto matter. Oh, that's really sad. The Pluto matter. <coughs> How could they have fucked it up? See, the Labour Party can't go on the free speech bandwagon when the Labour Party in Queensland have acted like a bunch of fucking cunts. They've acted like a bunch of fucking cunts. They've taken this Pluto individual off the street and put him into a star chamber. The star chamber. So, uh, yeah. See, this is the reason why the Labour Party can't take the Labour Party can't take the moral high ground. They fucked it up. They absolutely, positively fucked it up with the Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. What a fucking mess. And uh, as, uh, as uh, Terry O'Gorman said there, it'd be different if you were talking about a terrorist incident. But this was talking about problems about Queensland Rail that needed in the public interest to be disclosed. Terry O'Gorman, head of the Civil Liberty Council. What do you say? The They fucked up the Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. The nasty, vicious Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, it's a, it's an absolute disaster. And uh, I got to tell you there, I got to tell you, the Labour Party could be having a field day. If they hadn't have fucked it up with the Pluto matter, they could be out there. <laughs> Elbow could be, it's El Anthony Albanese, the leader of the Labour Party. He could be swinging out free speech and he could be making a mockery of those stupid scomo. I mean, ScoMo can speak to Jesus in tongues, but he can't pick up the fucking phone to ring the head of the AFP and say, what the fuck is going on, sunshine? And the Labour Party, unfortunately, they have fucked it up with the Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. Please click the link when we will see uh, Tim Nicholson, head of the PCC, uh, talking about the Pluto matter. Click the link. It's linked to the video which outlines what a fuck up the Pluto matter is. The Pluto matter. Unfortunately, this is the reason why the Labour Party in Australia can't jump on the free speech bandwagon because of the Pluto matter. The Pluto matter. They fucked it up. They fucked it up big time. It's unfortunate. The Pluto matter. <coughs> the Pluto matter. So, uh, guys, what can I say? This is the honest, nasty, vicious truth. Freedom of speech in Australia. It is, a, it is a very, very sad, treacherous day. A sad, treacherous day. Guys, please check out my channels. Archie Luxury Channel. There is the Elite Broadcasting Network. And the QR Rail Fail channels. <laughs> Please check these channels out because the Pluto Matter, the Pluto Matter is not going away. That Pluto, he's a nasty fucker. And he doesn't mind going to coercive star chambers. <laughs> he's a, he's a fr freedom fighter force, free speech, free speech. Uh, and, uh, I gotta tell you there, the Pluto matter, the Pluto matter, it is a, it's a really disastrous matter. I'm here to remind the public about the Pluto matter. And, uh, let's see, let's see what happens. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. Um, <coughs> please guys, like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and don't forget... Don't forget to watch all my channels. Keep the pressure on. The Pluto Matter will not go away. See you later. Oh. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. 
Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. From the creators of the Archie Luxury, the Paul Pluter and the Archie Luxury Corporate Channel comes something very special and appetizing. Elite Broadcasting, Elite Broadcasting, heavy hitting journalism, now powered by the Archie Luxury Media Group. Please stay tuned for Elite Broadcasting. 120,000 subscribers can't be wrong. Oops, yes, we used to be Elite NWO, but we had to rename when the left wing got nasty. They got nasty that we were telling the truth. Elite Broadcasting invites free speech, free speech. Free speech for all. Elite Broadcasting, powered by the Archie Luxury Media Group. <laughs>